ultimate advice. Uh, if you are interested in what you hear, consult your financial professional. Options have risk. If you lose money, it is your fault. Uh, reminder, guys, come and read our blog every day, optionpit.com slash blog or blogs. Either works, uh, but uh, give it a read. It's worth it. You'll be happy. All right. Uh, yesterday, I was talking a little about VVIX. It's also where you can find replays of our past vol reports. Me, when I've been on TV, you know, if you want to see my that handsome face right there, and all, all sorts of other awesome stuff that will help help you understand the option market. Speaking of the option markets, well, apparently we like the news out of the Bank of Japan uh, that they're moving to negative rates. Uh, if you look at the U.S. rates, they've gone higher, uh, much higher, and that's because we're now pricing in no more rate hikes for the year in the Fed fund futures. So any any belief that the Fed was going to raise rates uh, more seems to be, have uh, been sucked out of the market. And uh, that's being shown in VIX as well. VIX is now threatening to break 20. Uh, the S&P is up 20 and it's pouncing through, uh, you know, pretty decent technical levels. Uh, the major one being 1915 in the future, so uh, call it 1921 in the cash. Uh, and you've got really everything up except for XLY. Now, what is XLY? It's consumer discretionary. What's in dis consumer discretionary? Why, my good friend Amazon. Amazon, you know, honestly, after it was up $55 yesterday and is down 55 bucks today, uh, kind of ending up nowhere. So, Really, no harm, no foul. Uh, Microsoft, though, is up nicely. So we've seen um, Microsoft and Google and Facebook do really well. And you know, one of the, one of the things to be aware of on these names, especially a name like Facebook, when a name like Facebook blows the doors off of earnings, it tends to keep going. It's not like uh, a normal name where there's some retracement. Uh, a breakout quarter like that where really the entire game change changes typically leads toward uh, continued uh, running. Now volatility will come in. If you look at the volatility, uh, it still has places to drop significantly. It'll, it could get to 25 or 24. But the, the rally in the underlying doesn't have to. So I like and a trade that we put on in the strategy letter was uh, a bullish butterfly. And uh, I think that's going to perform reasonably well. Uh, moving back to the markets, you can see oil is up nicely. Uh, I wrote up a, uh, a long uh, oil call last week on Friday. Uh, for my trade idea of the week, and uh, that trade looked bad for a minute, and now a uh, trade that I bought for about 75 cents is now worth a buck ten. So that'll probably be one that I moved close today, and um, ha happily. Uh, but as oil rallies, so does the market, and as vol comes in and currencies ease. So does the market now. We're up about 20. Uh, we've seen rallies peter out the last couple of days. Doesn't feel like this one will, but that's something to be aware of. Uh, now, why do I feel like it won't? Well, take a look at the Russell 2000. It's up 2% to the S&P 1. It's up more in dollars than the S&P is up. That's incredible. Uh, kind of points toward, uh, toward, points toward uh, things running a little bit. And... Uh, and that's the way I, I think we move, uh, and and the way I think uh, think things go. I think we'll be up all day, uh, but just be cognizant that these things have turned around, uh, typically around now. Uh, on the day, if there is a day where we're up 30, uh, the kind of combination of everything happening uh, could lead to some real momentum buying today. Uh, it seems like. There was a buyer strike. Now we're in a bit of a shorts strike. 
uh, and uh, we may have a real shot at a, at a big rally today. All right, folks, uh, on that note, uh, I hope everybody has a great day. You can email me, marketoptionpick.com. You can call me, 888-TRADE-01 for more information. Hope you have a great morning.